glad you brought KG up because you guys have a, a very interesting relationship. That's some of the best exchanges we ever see. You got something to say. Uh, you're a Jesse. Jesse, Jesse. The Boston Celtics with perhaps the most impressive God, performance of fight. the year. Down damn, 20. Ball fight, man. You're down 27 it's points. Ball fight, Craig. A ball fight. Tonight was a ball fight, man. We knew that was going to come in with a lot of energy. Tonight was a ball fight. You ever been in a ball fight? Ask Charles. He's been in a ball fight. You held this team to just 56 points on Monday, but it seems like talking to you and talking to Doc and the way you're celebrating this game, that this one means even more. It's not even that. It's that, you know, when you're down and you fight back, you know, you got reason to to be proud of yourself, and that's what this was, man. This is a Celtic win right here, man. Ray Ray, congratulations, homie. Congratulations to the 7 12 pound. Man, I'm all over the place tonight. You look good tonight, dawg. All right, thanks a lot. Go to congratulations bed, also to Ray Allen. Well, thanks a lot. 15 All Star games and counting. Hey, man, stop wearing stuff like this when you do real interviews. <laughs> you know what I mean? Straight up. Like, on, like a Chris on Like a Christmas on You're getting dressed like this, Craig. You're getting dressed like this. You gotta stop that, man. All right, thanks here too. <laughs> uh, are you tired at all after games like this? Hey man, whatever I gotta do to win, man. I see you still ain't got no stylus, and I see you still wearing BS on TV. Wearing what? Nothing. <laughs> all, right, Stop, Chuck. all right, well, thanks for being with us. Have a good weekend. Always great to see you at 12. I keep up with him, man. Man, don't let him walk around here like that. Straight up. Him, I got you, man. Up, I got you. Straight up. Man, you get hurt in the streets walking around like that. I got my bowling shoes you know from the bowling no, tournament no, he had no, last night. I'm talking about this jacket and the suit and the tie. Come on, man. I know you see Ernie and these guys, Jerry dressing, man. You got to be coming with the foreign name. Just because it's foreign don't mean it's nice, man. Straight up. I'll work on it. Thanks. Good to see you, man. Straight up. There you go, right there. I just want to make sure everything's cool with you guys. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. You, you, would, you would come in here with that outfit on and ask that type question. Speaking of outfits, why are you tucking in your pants? Get off, man. Hey, man. Me tucking you know, this out. No, wait. This no. right here. Oh. What is that? Yeah, our turquoise. Still, turquoise. What was for this today? What was your motivation for wearing this today? Wake up. <laughs> what kind of ass is that? <laughs> and people appreciate it. Today you are named the All-Star team, the 12th time in your career. Second among active players to Shaquille O'Neal. What does it mean to you? It's always precious, man. It's pure. I'm happy. Thanks to fans. Thanks for everybody who appreciate hard work out here. Chuck, hold your head, boy. I'm waiting on you to come back. What you got on today? Ah, a little like gold. I can't say it on TV what you got on. All right, thanks. But Let's talk about this outfit you got on. That's, who, who are you wearing? That's not Celtic Green. Hey, look, straight up. You can't just grab something from the 1970s and try to bring it back. Retro is a look. Okay. Were well, you trying to bring back the glory of the Celtics? I was bringing back hey, but, but as you see, it's working, and that is not. I know we're going off the air for a little bit, but I need 10, I need 10 to 15 seconds to say to you. Okay, look, I've never in my life tried to really go at you in your suits and stuff. Tonight, I am stressing to you. You take this outfit home, and you burn it. We don't want to see this. I know you don't double back with outfits. I've never seen you in an outfit twice, but you take this right here. I don't care if it's Versace name brand it costs Saeed. You, I know Saeed I don't care you take this and you burn it it's not any part I can keep no nothing so when you get done with this you should be butt ass naked this should be <laughs> this should be burnt okay it's good to see you like always in, in the shoes too just burn them okay they just burn it don't ask no questions just burn the whole the red socks which the people can't see at home take all this handkerchief lime thong all that burn it okay fire cell Burn it. Right. Gasoline, kerosene, either one. Okay? Tell Ernie, Kenny, say hello. Give my best to Charles. Miss you, boy. See well in a minute. Uh, thanks for the advice. <laughs> I mean, we all have, had uh, acknowledged his flamboyant suits, mm -hmm. but you were the first player that stopped and made that, made that moment. Yeah. And he actually burned it from what they're telling me. And I do remember we had the burning ceremony when he did it Listen in front of his house. Hey, oh hey, my God, did he burn it? He burn? it. No, he actually burned it in front of his house. Oh my, I've never seen it. He, he actually burned it. Ceremony. He actually burned it. You know what? I have more, even more respect for Craig for burning it now because that was, he was really he, on that. Well, that was the cover. Ready or not? That was the big question. Why do you think you are ready for the big transition, the step from high school to the NBA? Well, one reason I think I'm ready is because I work so hard. 
I think you're, for me, I was taken back. I met him in the draft, it was 95. Right. Coming from high school, I'd never been on the stage this big. I come across the stage, he gives me, see where I've said it perfectly. You know, his journalism, he pushed the envelope. He right. pushed the issue. He would ask those questions that, you know, a lot of people would stay away from me. He said it. You ready? You ready for this? And I wasn't even ready for that. For, for that question. For question. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at the 80,000 in here. We're in Toronto. And after he, he said, you know what? You're going to be fine. You got, you got heart. You come from a good place. Stay with that. And I was like, I didn't really understand it mm. until I got into start practicing. And now you get gist of the league and what everything is about the league and the camaraderie and all the guys and how they stick together. Okay, next time I see him, he's in Puerto Rico and like, like Chris Webber said, man, who he is exemplifies um, excellence. Who he is as a person only highlighted some of the things that highlighted his, his journalism. He was all heart, dude. Like if you, if you had a chance to meet Craig, man, you knew. Like either I'm coming, they know me, because Craig's interviewing me, and this is a big moment for me. Uh, but more importantly, him wanting you to succeed and wanting you to be better at whatever it is you're doing and just promoting you without even really knowing you, that's who he was. It's time to start studying now. Here's the Minnesota roster. You go back and study while we send it back to the staff. <laughs> KG, Kevin Garnett was the first to send flowers. He sent this unbelievable bouquet. Anything for Sag, man, he knows that. Um, I send my regards to him and anything he needed and anything that I can do, uh, obviously from my family to his. He had signed it, you know, KG, AKA Big Ticket, from my family to yours. And it was like, just things you just didn't expect.